Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be filming an old favorite video that I have not done in a really long time. I used to film a lot of these like half and half comparison makeup videos and you guys seem to really like them, but I just haven't done one in ages. I don't know why, I just haven't, but I'm gonna bring it back today. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but this side I'm gonna be using my newest products that I've recently bought or been sent. Some of it I've never even tried before. So basically all the new stuff. This side, however, which is gonna be probably a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna be using my absolute oldest makeup products. So we're talking the stuff that has been sat in my drawers for like five, six years. Yeah, basically it's all out of date. I'm gonna be using out of date makeup and putting it on my face. Pray for my skin. It's probably gonna destroy it, but it's just a bit of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, oh, oh. How about that? Now we chopped some off. So today I'm gonna to be starting off with a, la, 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 a loop, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it. I think I'm gonna call it an under foundation product. And these are like illuminating things. So my newest illuminating thing is the CYO Illuminating Mixing Cream in the shade Turn On The Light. So I'm gonna be using that on this side. And then my oldest illuminating thing is the Bourjois Happy Light Serum. And oh my goodness, I should not be putting this on my face. I actually think I've had this for like, seven years maybe oh my god i shouldn't should i so i'm just going to start off with the newest side so i've got a bit of the cyo thingy here oh oh ooh, a big hard bit came out <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see but it's actually a solid i mean if that's what happens after a couple of months what's gonna come out of this anyway back to this one i think i've gotten past the chunky bit hopefully there's some liquid now <sighs> not having a repeat of last week oh goodness I managed to get it out of the carpet, by the way. The foundation is out of the carpet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave my last video linked below. Whew, we had the accident of all accidents and <laughs> I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on this side of my face. There we go. So that's definitely like illuminated it a little bit. Oh yeah, looking a little bit glowy now, aren't we? I'm looking also very, very pale. So yeah, I'm now gonna take the oldest one and oh, come off it. That actually looks like a worm. Like an actual worm is coming out. Oh, an actual worm is coming out. This used to be like liquidy, I'm pretty sure. It's, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my cheek. Like I don't want it everywhere because I think it's honestly gonna destroy my face. <laughs> like, um. Okay, so for foundation, my newest purchase is this one. I tried this in a video recently. It's the Ordinary Foundation in the shade 1.0N. And then my oldest foundation that I've had in my collection for years and years and years and years and years and years is this Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation in the shade 150 Buff. So starting again with the newer side, let's, oh no. Nah. Forgot you gotta twist it. There we go. Let's get a little bit of that on my finger. Dab it everywhere. There we go, nice and neat, as you can see. Whew. 10 out of 10 for effort there. Right, I'm just gonna blend that in with my sponge. My sponge, that is so, ugh. There we go, that is the foundation. I really like it, I think it's a really good one. And I think I need to turn the brightness down a little bit. And I'm now gonna move on to my oldest, which is this little guy. And if I remember rightly, it has a pory bottle, which I mean, yeah. Why would you do that? Like, honestly, that is just asking for an absolute mess. So I'm just gonna pour a bit of this onto the back of my hand. Very runny, hello, that is very runny. No, 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 I'm only doing half, I'm only doing half. That's enough to do five faces, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm just gonna dot a little bit of this all over my face. I say a little bit, a lot, because I've poured out like half the bottle. Ow. I think they look so similar. Like they're really similar in shade, really similar finish. They're both really full coverage foundations, like super full coverage. Yeah, I mean, considering how old that is, I don't think it's really affected it. I think it still works really well. So it works pretty well. It's probably just gonna destroy my skin, but hey ho, that is that. I'm now gonna move on to concealer. 
and for my newest one this is actually something I've not tried before so we've got a little first impression in here this is the ex1 delete fluid flip 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 bleh, fluid concealer shade 1.0 so I'm excited to try that and then for my oldest concealer I found this thing which is oh my goodness so old like this is going back many many years this is the l'oreal lumi magique stylo touche de lumiere so same again i'm going to start off with the newest one so we've got the ex1 delete fluid way too much like way too much i keep squeezing out enough for both sides and then i'm like oh wait okay that is the concealer pretty damn good i think that worked really well it's really full coverage it's like really easy to blend it out 10 out of 10 would recommend i think <laughs> i think it's really good i really like that i'm definitely going to get more use out of it we've got the oldest concealer in my collection so you just like screw it up a bit whoa it like seeped out over the edge like really runny oh my goodness it's so dribbly <laughs> okay i'm just gonna bob a little bit under my eye little bit dark let me just give it a little blend and see what happens probably not a lot yeah i definitely used to like it like i used to really like that but it might have just been that i liked the packaging so for powder i don't really have any old powders because i just used to always use this but this isn't an old one because obviously i've repurchased it in fact i probably repurchased this one this year i ain't got any old ones so i'm gonna put my rimmel stay mat just all over quickly and then I will be back. Okay, powder is on. I'm now gonna move on to bronzer. And for my newest bronzer, I tried this recently. It's the Miss Lynn Beach Please. And then for my oldest bronzy bronze, here it is. So I've got the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. This is the oldest one that I've got in my collection at the moment. Yeah, oh wait, I need to start. Start with the newest one. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this. Is it Miss Lynn? I don't think we ever worked that out. Miss Lynn, Miss blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Why is it when you look up close, you just look like a cakey mess? Anyway, I'm gonna take a bit of my newest bronzer, a very little bit, and I'm just gonna dust that sort of, just sort of all over. And now for my oldest bronzer, who actually, used to also be my all-time favourite. I used to love this so much. It just looks like that. Just gonna whack a little bit of that on all over on this side. There we go. I mean, it's not really done a huge amount. I feel like it's not picking up the colour that much. I think it's almost like dried out which doesn't make sense because it's a powder so it was already dry i've got a little bit out it's definitely bronzed my face a tiny bit so for blush i can't actually believe this has happened like what are the chances but we've got two benefit blushes and my newest is the benefit gold rush blush which i got in my po box recently i haven't used this yet so we've got another cheeky first impression and then my oldest is the benefit coralista blush which i got I think I was like 17 maybe when I got this and then it like made my skin go a bit dodge like I'm not gonna lie it made me break out a bit so I never used it and now I'm gonna put it on smart one maybe my skin's changed since then I mean honestly if anything's gonna make my skin go weird I think we know who the culprit was but yeah this is very old but we're gonna start off with the newest one and it looks like this just go a little bit of that dab it in and then pop it on my cheeks oh my goodness it smells like an absolute dream, I'm not gonna lie. That smells very edible. I mean, it's very pretty. It's more like highlighty than blushery. Um, it's added like a little bit of pink, but more than anything, it's just added that like highlighty bit like there, as you can see. Very nice indeed. I'm now gonna move on to the oldest blush in my collection. It looks like this, it's old. That's not the right one. Jeez, that's a big boy. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it on the other side. Do you know what? It's actually really pretty. So for highlighter, I've gone for powder highlighter just because I prefer that. And my first ever powder highlighter that I bought was the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralize Skin Finish. Yeah, I just I bought this because everyone on YouTube was banging on about it. Like, I was quite old when I burnt my... Burnt, 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 burnt. <laughs> when I bought my first highlighter, not burnt my first highlighter, when I bought my first highlighter, I think it's probably a little bit dark for me. And then my newest highlighter is the Ofra, oh, Ofra Nikki Tutorials. I didn't even know it was in like collab with her, that's cool. Um, The Ofra highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut, which I bought really recently and it's pretty damn good. So yeah, I'm gonna start off just putting this on my new side. 
Look at that. Look at that. It is so good. Like the tiniest bit and you are a glow. You are an absolute glow. <laughs> I really, really like it. And now I'm going to take a bit of my oldest highlighter. I mean, I don't know. Everyone used to love it. There must be a reason why everyone loved it. I just can't remember. I haven't used it in so long. I mean, I mean, it's doing well in its old age. Look at it. You can tell I barely touched it, what a waste of money, but it's doing well. It's not like, it's not smelling, it's not gone mouldy. It's aging well, so <laughs> there we go. That is my highlighter done. So I'm now gonna move on to eyebrows and they're both Benefit again. So for my newest one, I got sent this to my PO box recently. It's the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I haven't even got it out of the box yet. So it's the first impression again and it's very brand spanking new because it's still in the box. And then for my oldest brow pencil, I've got the Benefit Instant Brow. Don't even know if they make this anymore, but this was the first brow pencil I ever bought and I've still got it. So it's pretty damn old. It's all a bit like wobbly. Can you see? Blah, blah. These are my brow things. I'm gonna start off with the newest one. <gasps> Whoa, dagger. Oh, okay, so you've got like a spoolie on one side and then, oh, okay, so it's like a really small little brow thing. I like that, I like a small one. They're easy to use. Um, <laughs> um, this one's in the shade two. It looks like a good shade actually. It looks like a really like taupey, like cool toned, cool toned brown is what I was trying to say. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give this a go. I'll be back in a sec. I mean, I'm not sure it's the best eyebrow I've ever done, but it's not bad and it's a pretty good product. It's like nice and tiny. You can get like a nice precise line with it. Now I'm gonna take this old thing and see what I can do with it. Oh God. It is like a completely different consistency. You wouldn't think it was from the same brand. This one's like a dry formula. This is like a super waxy formula. It's also a little bit pale. Like, do you know what I mean? That eyebrow looks really pale. Oh, sorry. Keep flipping yours off. I don't mean to, like my finger just always wants to do that. Um, I haven't been drinking my smoothie. Oh. <laughs> just like squirted a load of it out of the top. Oh gosh. If you guys are enjoying this half and half vid, give it a thumbs up because I could probably think of some more half and half videos that I could do as well. But I just want to like know if you actually still want them, so. Let me know. This is quite interesting actually. For like an eyebrow gel to go on top, one of my newest ones is the same as my oldest ones. However, they look different because they've like changed the packaging. So my oldest brow gel in my collection is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's Benefit again. Benefit Gimme Brow. This isn't sponsored by Benefit, by the way. Like, honestly, it's not. Yeah, Benefit Gimme Brow, but like an ancient version. This is so old. This is a newer version of the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I use this quite a lot, actually, at the moment. So I'll, I'll start off with the newer one. I'm just going to run that through my eyebrows. I'm now just gonna do the same with the old Benefit Gimme Brow, which is probably really dried up actually. Mm. Yeah, it's not really doing anything at all, let's be real. It's kind of just like combing them a bit, so I'll take that. There we go. Did absolutely sort it all, but those are my eyebrows. They both look quite different because this one's really light. This one's a bit darker and um, try my best. I'm now gonna move on to eye stuff. So for my eyeshadows, I've got these two. So my newest one is the MUA Prism Eye Gloss Kit. I don't even know what this is, so this is gonna be fun. No idea what I've even got to do with an eye gloss kit. And then for my oldest eye product, I've got the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Let's Skate. Never used used it well I used it once and I was like oh that's not what I thought so I've never used it it's just been sat in my makeup collection for a very long time yeah I'm gonna start off with the new one it's in the shade fascination eye gloss kit apparently um I'm just gonna take a bit of the glitter what oh oh what is this like a scoop this isn't gonna go very well is it you got you guys are like oh god this is gonna go so bad i do not understand this so it's kind of like scooped a bit of the powder out and i'm just gonna it's like it's like a little spatula oh no oh no oh no <laughs> no 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 not in there I'm just a bit confused go like this oh no oh no oh my eyelash caught it you legend oh no oh it's going everywhere. It's um, an interesting concept. I'm a bit confused. I've probably used it wrong. Oh, we need to put the glossy topper on. So this is what you apparently put on top. <gasps> Hi, oh wow, what? what? Hello, eruption. What is that? I was expecting it to be clear. I swear it said it was clear. Oh, it says shiny eye gloss topper. That is like a lip gloss that I'm apparently gonna put over this glitter. Okay, let's go. I mean, 
Personally, I wouldn't have done that. It looked kind of pretty before I put the glossy stuff on top. It did look like a pretty glitter. The gloss, I just think, nah, could have done without that. But um, I'm now gonna use my oldest eye product. So I think I already said, this is like the first eye thing that I bought. But yeah, I'm gonna use it today and just pop that here. Ooh. I mean, I can see why I wasn't too keen on it. It's just a bit pale, like it's a strange color to want on your eyelid, but it is pretty, like it's got that really nice iridescent look to it. It is ancient. This needs to go in the bin. Like, well, everything on this side is gonna go in the bin after this video, but yeah, that's my eyeshadow done. Wow, not a great eyeshadow day. I'm now gonna move on to mascara, and my newest one is this one. It's the Jord... Dana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. A lot of the new side is actually from the Beauty Bay video that I did just because I did that recently. What I think is my oldest mascara, I couldn't remember exactly, but I think my oldest mascara is this one. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And yeah, I'm just gonna whack these on either side and then I will be back. Okay, so I do like both of those mascaras, but obviously using a really old one, it is gonna have dried out. So I barely got anything out on this side, but mascara is done. I'm now gonna move on to lips. For my newest one, I got this in my PO box haul the other day. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip stick thing. Um, I got a lot of new lip products, but I thought I'd go for this. Wait, what shade is it? It's in the shade 55 Driver. I thought I'd go for this because it's a similar shade to my first ever lipstick, which is a MAC lipstick in the shade Creme de Nude. I think that's how you say it. And they seem like really similar colors. So I thought that would be interesting. That smells delightful. Wow, you are old, but you smell great. Formula wise, I really, really like it. That was actually really easy to apply and I normally make such a mess with liquid l <laughs> I can never say liquid lipsticks. It just comes out in like a little. Oh, I see my teeth though, damn it. Why did I used to use that? Like honestly, but I think everyone just loved that like really pale concealer lip look back in the day. But now I just personally wouldn't go for it. Yeah, and, and you can tell that that lipstick is just getting a bit old. It looks a lot more like patchy and just, ugh, what is going on there? So there we go. This is my half and half video complete. We've got the like newest makeup and like first impressions and stuff like that. And then we've got my old makeup that's like out of date and needs to go in the bin and needs to be washed off very fast. Yeah, I think it's safe to say the newer stuff definitely looks better. I just thought, you know, thought it was a bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining. And yeah, give it a thumbs up, like I said, if you want some more half and half videos, because I think they're really fun to film. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.